When Barbara Archiello's doctor recommended a vaccine to prevent cancer of the cervix, she jumped at the chance. I just think it's a, a great thing for women to have. But the most comprehensive look at side effects since the HPV vaccine was approved in 2006 raises questions about its safety. In today's Journal of the American Medical Association, the CDC reported over 12,000 side effects after 23 million doses were distributed. 94% of the problems were not serious, but 6% were, including patients who were hospitalized, permanently disabled, or died. There were 32 deaths, one in over 700,000 doses. It really isn't increased above what we've seen with other vaccines in that age group and what is seen generally in people of that age group. But problems that did occur more frequently than expected were fainting, about once every 12,000 doses, and blood clots, once every 500,000 doses. The reporting on blood clots was um, concerning to CDC, concerning in the way that we think it needs further investigation. One last Gardasil. Critics questioned the vaccine makers' aggressive ad campaign because it paid medical societies to help spread the word and underplay the importance of evaluating the vaccine's risks and benefits. It screeched its message. All women are at equal risks. Protect yourself from cervical cancer, and this is the way to do it. And the fact that the medical societies repeated this message is what the issue is that concerns us is. Merck says after reviewing the new report of adverse events, it continues to be confident in the safety of the vaccine. While the CDC and FDA continue to recommend its use, doctors say they'll look at the HPV vaccine for girls and women on a case-by-case -case basis. If you're going to administer the vaccine, you should discuss these risks with your patient. Something else to consider for parents uncertain about whether to have their daughters vaccinated. Routine pap smears can also help prevent cervical cancer. Maggie. A great reminder. Dr. John LaPook, thanks, John.